Hi guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to use our Maxilite board for penetration systems. Maxilite board is a calcium silicate, lightweight, fire resistant board that we use for many applications. One of them is dealing with service penetrations like this with a complicated mix of pipes and cables and mix services. In today's video, we've got a plasterboard wall where we framed and lined the cavity just like you would have to do on a real site to stop any fire getting into the cavity of the plasterboard wall. And we're going to use our Maxilite board in conjunction with sealants, our T-Wrap, our collars and our Firebox Maxis and Minis to treat this style of penetration. Let's get into it. So this is our Sydney warehouse where we keep the bulk majority of our Maxilite boards. We have our white boards and our blue boards. The white boards 1500 by 1200 millimetres, available 30, 40 and 60 millimetres thick. The blue boards available in 2 metre long sheets by 1200 wide, again in 30, 40, 60 millimetre thick. We also provide both these boards in half cut sheet sizes, which are a bit easier to handle around on those some trickier sites. And when installing the maxi light board, we need to have a 100 mil overlap on all sides of the penetration. So I'm going to measure it up. It's 470 by 390 wide, and that means we're going to need a 670 by 590 millimeter wide piece of maxi light, which I'll show you how to cut now. So I've drawn out the map of where all the services are, so we can mark it up on the maxi light. So that's our next step. Now this is a piece of maxi light board 60 mil that we have left over from a project. So I'm just going to chop off the unneeded uh, pieces, and we'll use that today. When handling maxi light board, you've got to be careful not to chip the edges. The 60 millimeter thick board is quite sturdy, but when you start using the 30 mil board as cover strips and patches, it can get a little brittle. So make sure you're supporting it properly when you're going to do your cuts. Now, to cut maxillar board, you can use a various range of tools. Hand tools, anything that you use to cut timber and wood, so like a handsaw, will do the job. If you want something a bit faster, I'm going to use a, a jigsaw today to get through it. You can also use drop saws and circular saws, anything that has a, a serrated edge blade on it. Um, if you are using power tools, either do it outside because you'll create a bit of dust, or if you're doing it inside, use some dust extraction. Maxilite board doesn't have any crystalline silica in it. Um, it's more about just minimizing the mess you're making on your client's floor. And there's no point using a texture or a pen on Maxilite because it's quite dusty. You're going to ruin your texture. So you can unclick your pen and just use the end of it to scribe down the lines that you want. Um, or any sharp knife or, or any of a drill bit will do the job. Now I've cut it 100mm oversized to overlap the penetration 100mm on all sides, all four sides of the perimeter. Um, and now I'm going to cut the board in horizontal cuts that line up with the services. When you're cutting maxillite around multiple services, you have to keep all of the cuts parallel. So they're all horizontal or all vertical. In today's challenge, we've got a horizontal cable tray, so I think it makes sense to do horizontal cuts. All right, now I've marked out the centers of all the holes that we're gonna need for our penetrations. So I'm gonna use a hole saw, just a standard hole saw off the shelf. Um, for the Firebox Mini, it's gonna be a 60 mil diameter hole for a 50 mil diameter Firebox. For the 110 mil PVC pipe, it's a 111 mil hole saw. And for the 40 mil conduit, we're gonna go with a 50 mil uh, cut. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll cut out the U-channel slot for the cable tray. Now in this case, the hole saw is not quite deep enough to get through the 60 mil, so when we're done, I'll just flip it over and finish it from the other side. So that'll be our top piece that sits on top of the cable tray. That's all our cuts made, we'll head back into site and we'll fix the maxi light board onto the penetration. So I've got the maxi light board, I'm going to start at the top by putting this piece over the cable tray, which fits perfectly over there. Before we do that, we're going to bed it down with some Fireflex sealant around the perimeter of the board. Now that the board's in place, we're going to use 10 gauge by 100mm plasterboard screws. 
through the maxi light, through the plus board to pick up the stud behind it. We're gonna go at least 25 mil in from the edge of the board to stop it from cracking. And we're gonna go at 200 mil centers between pieces of board and along top and bottom. Little tip with maxi light. Sometimes it helps to pre-drill the holes or screw them down on the ground so that when you put it up on the wall, it's much easier to screw them straight into the plasterboard. All right, now all our screws are in between all the joints and at 200 mil centers between them. What we'd have to do next is fill up the joints with our five flex sealant. Um, the other way to do it would be to bed these down with sealant before we put them up, that'd probably be quicker. And then we'll do a perimeter around the outside of the board, about 10 by 10 millimeters. Now that we've sealed up the joints and the perimeter, uh, what I'm gonna do is just pull back some of this excess sealant to make it look better. And then we'll start sealing up the surface penetrations. So we'll start with the plastic pipes. So PVC pipes, we can't just use our sealant because it's gonna melt and leave a gap. We still need to put some sealant around to provide a smoke seal, but then we're gonna use for the 100 mil PVC, our premium hinge retrofit fire collar. And for the heavy duty conduit, we'll use our 40 mil fire collar conduit collar. So we'll start by smoke sealing them. Now this 100 millimeter PVC requires an extra thickness of maxillite board to provide the full FRL. So without the patch, it'll get dash 9090. With the patch, it's gonna get dash 120, 120. So I've used some offcuts of our 30 millimeter blue or gray maxillite board, which we're gonna patch around this. So we're gonna use our 30 millimeter uh, maxillite patch to patch around this 100 millimeter PVC and we'll screw them in in each corner with 60 or 65 millimeter plasterboard screws into the main 60 mil board. So this is our 100 mil fire collar premium hinge retrofit, which has this nice clasp and hinge system. It makes it super easy to pop it around the pipe. And then all we have to do is screw it in place. If you scan the QR code on this product, it will take you to a specific installation video for the rest of the collar range. Similar thing with the fire collar conduit collar. This is a little two piece clip together system that you can fit around the pipe, conduit, and simply fix it into the wall. Now, of course, as with most penetration systems in a wall, they have to be symmetrical on both sides. Now with maxi light, we only need the board on one side, but we do need to have collars on the other side of the wall. So in the real world, we'll be putting collars on both sides of this uh, penetration system. Now this penetration is a bit more complicated. We've got mixed services. So we've got a, a gas, plastic, PEX, Alpex pipe. We've got power cables, data cables. So we, can't, we don't have a collar that's gonna be able to do all of these together. We don't have a sealant that's gonna have them all together. So what we do have is the firebox mini. Now these minis come in various sizes. It's only a small penetration today, so we're using the smallest in the Firebox family, the Firebox Mini. So it's a little cylinder which has intumescent on the inside, and you can open it up, fit it around the surfaces and slide it into the wall, and it's mounted with these handy mounting flanges. Again, there are QR codes on the product labels which will take you to specific Firebox Mini and Maxi installation videos. Uh, and I'll show you how you can fit them to Maxi Light now. Now you want to line it up so it's sticking uh, symmetrically out of the maxi light. So the same amount out this side and on the back face. And then we take our mounting flanges. And again, you'd fit these on both sides of the penetration. Now before we put these flanges on, we'll also seal up the gaps around the firebox. Again, making sure no smoke is going to come through. So now it's time to put the flanges in and we'll use the same eight gauge plasterboard screws, about 60 millimeter length, so it doesn't poke out the other side of the board. Now one of the ways that makes the firebox work really effectively is the foam plugs that come with it. So we need to trim this foam plug to make sure that once it's put in place on this side and the other side of the firebox, you can't see any daylight through it. Now again, there are other videos available that show you how to do that. And the bigger boxes, the little ones, it's quite easy. We're just gonna pull it apart and put in the little plugs until we uh, can't see any daylight through it. The last thing we need to look at with the Firebox Mini Specimen is that these PEX pipes 
and the firebox itself, they're going to transmit a lot of heat during the fire from behind the wall to this side of the wall. There's a, there's a continuous path through the penetration. And that means we need to put some additional T-wrap around the services to make sure that it's not going to fail the insulation ready and get the full FRL of Dash 12120. So to do that, we've got our 300 mil T-wrap, which we're going to install from the base of the wall away from the maxilla. These firebox minis are fantastic for mixed services, um, as well as things like pair coil, insulated pipes, uh, copper pipes, steel pipes, PVC, plastics and conduits. You can all run them through this one mix service. Now the last thing we have left to do is to seal the cable tray. And for that, we're just gonna use our Fireflex sealants to fill all the gaps and apply a 50 by 50 millimeter fillet all the way around the cable tray. And then we're gonna apply our T-wrap. All right, now we've got our fillet of sealant in place. You go ahead and do that on the other side of the wall, making sure that you're filling the maxillite to the full depth, the 60 millimeter maxillite. Um, then we put the T-wrap on. Now cable trays tend to have some hot pockets that form in and around the cables. So what we're gonna do is pack out those gaps with some loose uh, T-wrap from inside of the foil. So we'll just pack out the gaps between them and then we can wrap 300 mm T-wrap both sides of the wall. And there you have it. That's how you install Maxilla board around mixed and multiple services. Um, you can find out all this information and more in the technical manual, which is available at www.tfire.com.au, along with the fire test and assessment reports for this board. The report's FCO 2586, and it's compliant to AS 1530 part four, 2014. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our other videos and LinkedIn channels. I'll see you next time.